Google has 15 products that each serve more than half a billion people and businesses, with six of them serving over two billion people each. The company is a staple in our lives, and the recent keynote event makes it clear that they're not going anywhere anytime soon. All of their products help them deliver on their timeless mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. And moving forward, making AI helpful for everyone is the way that the company will realize this mission. On this episode of AI Focus, we look at how AI is changing the Google tools we know and love, including Gmail, Photos, and Maps. And stay till the end to see how Google Cloud is even changing businesses like Uber with its AI services. Generative AI is being infused to all of Google's products, including Gmail. But it's not like AI hasn't already been introduced to the tool. In 2017, the company launched Smart Reply, which I'm sure you know are those short responses you can click to save you those precious seconds when sending emails. Then came Smart Compose, which predicted your sentences as you typed. But the next level for Gmail is called Help Me Write, and this really is next level. Check out this example where a user's flight was canceled and the airline has sent them a voucher. But the customer really wants a refund, even though he doesn't quite know how to put it in words. Well, the new Help Me Write feature can save the day. The customer prompts Help Me Write to write an email requesting a full refund, and a full draft appears. This draft even included flight details from the previous email. But the customer isn't satisfied yet. He thinks a more elaborate email will net him a better chance at getting the refund. So, he clicks the elaborate option and boom, a PhD level refund request. And there's no way he's not getting a refund now. All they need now is a rude response option just to make the experience complete. Anyway, the Help Me Write feature will be rolled out over time and will improve as time goes on as well. The next place AI will be jammed into Google is in Maps. AI has already been creating billions of panoramic images in Maps for people to explore for some time now. And last year, Google introduced Immersive View that allows people to explore a place even before they visit. Now they're taking this Immersive View up a notch to help people get from A to B. The Immersive View allows you to see your whole trip before you even take it. For example, if you're in NYC and want to go on a bike ride, you can click on Immersive View for routes and zoom in to get a Spider-Man view of your path. I really feel like I'm playing a game right now. Cue the excited clapping. You can even check the air quality, traffic, and weather, and check to see how these factors will change over the next few hours. Immersive View will roll out by the end of the summer and be available for 15 cities by the end of the year. If that doesn't seem like a lot, you try and design maps these detailed. Next up we have Google Photos, which was introduced in 2015 as one of Google's first AI products. Machine learning in Google Photos made it possible to search your photos for people or things like waterfalls, but the new advancements in AI give the company the ability to enhance how photos are edited. For instance, Magic Eraser uses AI-powered computational photography to remove things you don't want in pictures, and later this year, generative AI will up the ante with a new experience called Magic Editor. Let's look at how it works. In this photo, the user took a photo with their bag on by mistake, so the user with Magic Editor can now remove the bag, and now the user wants to look like they're really catching the water in their hand, so boom. And then there's this photo where the user repositions their child and the balloon so that the subject is in the center. Editor automatically brings into frame what wasn't even in the picture in the first place. Seriously, how did they do that? I feel like they're about to saw a lady in half next. Next, you can edit the sky as a finishing touch. Magic Editor will be released with Google Photos later this year. If you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Google's AI will also transform how businesses work as well. Amazon recently came out and announced Bedrock, its AI-as-a-service platform that will allow businesses to use their servers and third-party services to build their own AI. Microsoft Azure has also been offering a very successful service like this with OpenAI's technology as well. And now it's Google's turn. Developers will be able to build on Google's cloud platform called Vertex AI. With Vertex, you can access foundation models for chat, text, and image. You can select the models you want to use and select prompts to tune the model. 
you can select the best model for your specific needs across many sizes that have been optimized for cost and quality. Huge companies are already using Google's service to build generative AI applications. Check out this little clip from the keynote that shows what some of them are doing. The unique thing about Google Cloud is the expansive offering. The Google partnership has taught us to lean in, to, to iterate, to test and learn, and have the courage to fail fast where we need to. But also Google's a really AI-centric company, and so there's a lot for us to learn directly from the engineering team. Now with generative AI, we can have a much smarter conversations with our customers. We have been really enjoying taking the latest and greatest technology and making that accessible to our entire community. Giving early access to Vertex APIs opens a lot of doors for us to be most efficient and productive in the way we create experiences for Uber customers. The act of making software is really suddenly open up to everyone. Now you can talk to the AI on the Replit app and tell it, make me a work app program. And with one click, we can deploy it to a Google Cloud VM and you have an app that you just talked into existence. We have an extraordinarily exciting feature in the pipeline. It's called Magic Video, and it enables you to take your videos and images, and with just a couple of clicks, turn that into a cohesive story. It is powered by Google's Palm technology, and it truly empowers everyone to be able to create a video with absolute ease. Folks come to a Wendy's, and a lot of times they use some of our acronyms, the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. They'll come in and give me a JBC. You know, we need to understand what that really means, and Voice AI can help make sure that order is accurate every single time. Generative AI can be incorporated in all the business processes Deutsche Bank is running. The partnership with Google has inspired us to leverage technology to truly transform the whole restaurant experience. There is no limitations. There's no other way to describe it. We're just living in the future. Google is also partnering with Character AI by giving them the infrastructure to train their models. With this partnership, consumers will be able to create their own personalized characters and interact with them. Three special models come with Vertex, including Imagine, which powers image generation editing and customization from text inputs. There's Cody for code completion and generation that you can train on your own code base. And then there's Chirp, Google's universal speech model that brings speech to text for over 300 languages. What's really interesting is how you can fine tune the pre-trained models. You can use reinforcement learning from human feedback and you can also fine tune it using domain or industry specific data. Kind of like how MedPalm 2 is the medical version of Palm 2. Google also offers something called Enterprise Search which is designed to help retrieve factual information from your company's databases, your company website, or enterprise applications. Not only this, but the service guarantees data privacy as well. All of these capabilities will be built on specially AI-optimized infrastructure that makes training up to 80% faster and 50% cheaper compared to competitors, according to Google. And the A3 virtual machines are the newest addition to Google's infrastructure toolbox, it's based on NVIDIA's H100 GPUs and provide a very attractive option for companies like Midjourney and Anthropic to build their models on Google Cloud. These tools offer something the world has never seen before, and they're impressive. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Click that video on the screen to see Google's new Palm 2 model that's sure to take the world by storm.